Welcome back to UWC Online Action here for a brand new episode. I am joined in the booth by the current champion, still champion, after that big five-man scramble match, Blake Reed. Well, I'd say it's a pleasure to be here, but it's not. This match happening right now, I still can't believe my eyes. I don't understand what I'm seeing. Phage back in the ring. Phage, I can't believe this. It Atomic drop! We saw the re-emergence of Phage not too long ago. The mask was in the box several weeks ago, then Phage came out. John, since that's really irrelevant, let's really talk about how dominant I was in my title fence. In your title defense against four other gentlemen, and there's no denying you did win the match, although it was underhanded and shady tactics. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I believe I was the one with the hand raised at the end. Well, the record books will showcase that you did win that match. Side headlock now. Alexander S. Kirk in the ring against Phage. Backs him up against the ropes. Tries to shove him off. Holds on. Reverse atomic drop. Oh, Phage looking like he's trying to have a little bit of fun here with Alexander S. Kirk. That ring's not meant for fun, John Stone. That's one thing that just irritates me. People who think this is a joke. This is no joke. So you are a man of zero jokes. Zero are, jokes, none, nada, nothing. You are humorless. I am humorless. Well, I, know, I know I have one job when I step in that ring, and that's to get the job done. And for the last few months, I've been mean, getting the job done each and every time. Well, it looks like Phage is having a lot of fun here. It's been a long time since we've seen him, ever since his reemergence just a couple of weeks ago. And I'm still perplexed, though, as to what exactly happened to the Warden. <laughs> Show off in the strength here. I'd have just punched him in his mouth. I wouldn't have waited for, the, for any of this show-off stuff. Greco-Roman knuckle lock applied. Phage getting the top hand of it. Atomic drop! Not exactly sure if there's going to be any little Alexander S. Kirks running around in his future. There you go again with those jokes. I said the word, this is a no joking matter. Well, it's not really a joke, it's, it's being legitimate. Do you know what happens when you take an atomic it, drop? It's plainly a low blow. If, you're, if he's hitting him in, in the lower regions, it's plainly a low blow and he should be disqualified. Oh, I'm. I'm not going to argue you on that, but the semantics of a move for move. He's going for another test of strength. Something's going on here. Uh-oh. section. Blatant low blow. What is this ref doing? Darren Drifter, the referee. <laughs> Side headlock applied now by Phage. Darren Drifter checking to make sure it's not a chokehold. Me, I oh. just choke him. No need for any of these pander these hooligans that they, that they call fans around here. Hooligans? Yeah, hooligans. They're not on the card tonight. Not those hooligans, Johnstone. I mean, these in bed ingrates of Georgetown. Uh oh! Like Vertical suplex there on the part of Alexander S. Kirk. Gonna go for a pin attempt. He could have the victory right here. Only a two count. away now on Phage. Alexander S. Kirk showing he's tired of the fun and games. He's tired of the laughter. He's here to work. Blake Reed has abruptly left 
the commentary booth. I'm not exactly sure where he went. Hopefully he comes back here. Oh, shot to the midsection now by Kirk. Kirk working over the mysterious Fage, who's trying to fight back into it. Fage fighting back. Blake Reed back in the booth with me. It's the ropes. Oh, suckers a minute with that huge lariat. I think I've seen that move before. It is a possibility. I mean, it's, it's a blatant gimmick move. infringement. That's all anybody can do around here is copy what I do. It's what I do. It's the best. Are you saying what you do isn't very nice? I'm not saying it's not nice, but it gets the job done, doesn't it, John Stone? Well, there's no arguing that. You are the current reigning champion. You can go ahead and repeat that. Uh, you are the current reigning champion. Exactly. I am the top of the mountain. Sleeper hold applied now on Fage. He's trying to fight out of it to gain some momentum back in this matchup. Elbow shots to the boiler. Bounce off the ropes. Wait a minute, hooks him in. Abdominal stretch applied. Kirk keeps looking for the submission victory here and the way he's just plowing away on the ribcage area. Fage is locked in the abdominal stretch as Kirk just adding more and more on him. Wait a second, Fage trying to fight out of it. But you gotta lock it on a little tighter. Come on. Oh! Ah. It means me, I wouldn't have let go. Out of the corner with a clothesline. He feels it coming on. Kick to the face in the corner. Fage could very well have it here. He's looking to put away Kirk. And another one. Inzagiri jumping Inzagiri, kick to the back of the head, going for a pin attempt here, could have it. Very closely gets his shoulder up too. Fade waiting on him to get up. Using the ring ropes to regain leverage, launches himself in, waiting to close around into a pin attempt. He's got the ropes though! He's got ah, the ropes! Perfect, perfect, excellent. Just the way I would have done it. He had the ropes and he beat Fade! I, I don't know what you're talking about, John Stone. The ref didn't see it, it doesn't count. Blatant cheating on the part of Alexander S. Kirk getting... It's only cheating if you get caught, John Stone. How many times am I going to tell you that? It was a perfectly good roll-up. One, two, three. Yeah, perfectly good with added leverage from the second rope. He had to use the ropes in order to gain the victory. You see, even Mother Nature's not happy. There's lightning all outside. Fades left in the ring. I Wait a second. Wait a second. What is what is this lunatic doing? What is going on here? I... What? This guy's oh. certified crazy. He no. should be in a nut house. No, 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 no. That's... He should be in a nut house, Johnson. That's, Look at it. That's not Phage anymore. That's not the same man we know. That's not Phage. Who goes around hitting himself? Only crazies. He that... should be locked up in the insane asylum. Hey everybody, I'm Rocket Grunt Josh, and welcome back to my Until Dawn Minecraft Story Mode Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland Pokemon Emerald Nuzlocke Challenge. Live and learn. Live and learn, guys. It's Sanic. Sanic Bursley is straight up MLG Pro. No, he's not okay. He's pretty halved. He's been halved pretty bad. So, with that, I will see every Body next time. Goodbye. 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 Person enters this match. We've still got three more guys to enter this match. Remember, they're just. Once there's a pinfall or a submission, the match is not over. Oh, look at that. Yeah. The match is not over. The man who gains the victory will then be declared the interim champion, and it's his job to make it out of the 15-minute time limit.
in order to keep the title. Hang on, hang on. What? Spencer, Spencer Wallace. Wallace is champion right now? No. Spencer Wallace is now the interim champion. Hounds going right into that pool. Oh. Power balls. Look at the power. Oh, no, no, no. Jimmy, you got to answer Jimmy Carroll going to answer next. No. Oh. Double-decker buckle bomb. Wait a minute, Sam here comes. Oh! Sends him down with that Falcon Arrow. Wait a minute. Oh, he's gonna do it. Oh! Wow, how dominant was that? Look at that. Oh, Joey! Joey's no. up! No way. He's up! Oh, oh no, 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 no. He could have it here. There, break it up. No! Oh. Oh. What the bell ring? A lot of time left. Right the bell ring. Joey's going for something here. Is he gonna dive? Oh, oh. wait! Wait a second, did you see that? Blake just hit Joey in the head with a title! Oh, oh, look here, That's it! That's uh. the match! Blake Reed! This is bogus. Terry told me he had a one. Blake Reed. I don't care what you say. Blake Reed brought that title belt up in Joey O'Reilly's face. You know, something's been bugging me. So I think I need to come out here and get boom, something off my chest. Boo, boo, boo. I am the only man in two years to pin Blake Reed and become champion. Yeah! Are you right? No, no, that didn't happen. That but didn't somehow, happen. I ended up on the floor, not the champion. That's hey. right. And then right there was here. another time when I almost had Blake Reed beat again, and he slipped away. So you know what that means, right? It means the man is scared. The man knows oh. I can beat him. Oh, he's calling you scared, Blake Reed. Scared. So here's, here's what I'm out here for. I have tasted that gold, and now I'm hungry. So you know what that means? You and me at Ascension to Greatness, one on one. Oh, I'd love to see that. Blake Reed leaving the booth now. He's heading down to the ring area. Oh, this is going to be interesting to see how these Give him two about 20 together. minutes to get down the stairs, guys. All right. This is going to be incredibly interesting. A challenge laid out by Joey O'Reilly for Ascension to Greatness. One on one matchup with the champ Blake Reed, the agent of Bash. And he wants the title on the line. You know, Joey O'Reilly, I was up in the commentary and listened to you ramble and ramble and run your mouth about how you want to wrestle me in Ascension of Greatness. But you see, the fact of the matter is, you've already had your shot twice. And you couldn't get the job done either of those times. Shady circumstances, but continue. I, I don't remember it quite like that. I, I remember the last time we met, you were on your back looking up at me as I got the three count on you. Never happened. Oh. I never happened. People saw it happen. You see, Joe and Ryan, I know you That's haven't been hurt. here for, for a cup of coffee, but I've beaten vampires, I've beaten dragons, I've beaten American soldiers. And you know what? I, I can defend this title against anyone in the back oh. except you. Oh, come on. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Wait a second. Blake Green, you might not have wanted to say that. Aaron Matthews out to the ring area. Aaron Matthews currently a participant in the Horizon Cup tournament, but what's he doing out here? Things have gotten very interesting here. 
for UWC Online. Now what are we going to see out here? Blake Reed says that he would put the title on the line against anybody in the back except Joey O'Reilly, but are we going to see a title match here? Are we going to see, here comes Mike Underwood and a flame drop kick. We got ourselves an impromptu title match on our hands. Aaron Matthews lighting up Blake Reed. to happen here tonight. Blake Reed was just supposed to stay in the commentary booth with me, providing play-by-play -play against all the great action here tonight. And he finds himself in action, driving the shoulders to the midsection of Aaron Matthews. Blake Reed, one week removed from putting his title on the line in that big five-man scramble. Now look at the way he's choking Aaron Matthews. He did win that matchup. As I continue to say, shady circumstances when he brought the championship belt up into the face, knocked them out, and got the pinfall. But look at the way he's just goading Joey O'Reilly. Aaron Matthews, he hears an opportunity for the championship, and he's going to take it. What would happen if Aaron Matthews were to walk out here tonight, get the victory over Blake Free? Wait a minute, pin attempt here. Only gets a two count. What would happen? Aaron Matthews gets a victory over Blake Reed tonight, becomes the new United Wrestling Coalition champion, then goes into Ascension of Greatness and wins the Horizon Cup Tournament. What a way to end the season of UWC Online for Aaron Matthews, but he's got to get by Blake Reed here tonight, and so far, it doesn't look like that's on the horizon. Blake Reed looks to be doing a little bit too much showboating here. He needs to stay on Aaron Matthews. Shoves him into the corner. Joey O'Reilly on the outside. O'Reilly wanted Reed at Ascension to Greatness. He wanted a one-on-one -on -one opportunity at Blake Reed. But think of it this way. If Blake Reed were to lose the championship match here tonight, would we then get to see one-on-one -on -one Aaron Matthews and Joey O'Reilly at some point for the title? I'd enjoy seeing that just as much. Front face lock. Driving the knee up into the ribs. Blake Creed once again goes back to that showboating style. Showboating style, excuse me. Oh, and look at that! Pressing all the weight down across the back. That's over 320 pounds. Blake Reed calling an end, saying he's going to put him away. Looking to hit that Falcon arrow. Aaron Matthews driving the knee into the forehead, gets out of it. Drop kick to the back into the ropes. It's the business. Blake Reed is down. Aaron Matthews has an opportunity to become champion. If he can just crawl over and get the pin. Oh, but wait, Blake Reed stirring back up. Matthews going again. Face first! Smart move on the part of Aaron Matthews now. There goes Aaron up to the top rope. He's very comfortable with the high-flying maneuvers. Misses with a frog splash! Blake Reed able to move out of the way just in the nick of time. Our camera girl better watch out. Wait a second, Blake Reed. He's got that title belt. That's the very same title belt that factored in heavily to the end of the five-man scramble. Oh no. He's got the title in the ring. What's, oh my gosh! The 
incomprehensibleness of Blake Reed. I can't believe it. The crowd here in the battle zone going crazy for Joey O'Reilly. They want to see the two of them get it on. We're going to need to get some medical attention for Aaron Matthews face to face in the ring. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Blake Reed sidesteps him. Looks like Joey kind of scared him. The challenge has been laid out. Joey wants Blake Reed at Ascension to Greatness, but Blake is saying, no, you've had enough times. I beat you. We need to get some help out here for Aaron Matthews. Make sure he's okay. 